Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a video on um, changing the frame rates but actually from a lower to higher frame rate but um, it's based on the Cyberlink um, power director. It, I'm just answering one of the questions actually that um, came out from the other video. Um, I could have answered him but I thought of you know just doing a video and showing him how to do it and uh, because it's one of the things that everyone faces and uh, and uh, yeah so thought of doing this video for you guys as well you know in case that there are others who are actually trying to figure out how to get it done anyway so um, the frame rate th the problem he had was actually he had a frame rate that was below a certain level that actually um, is mentioned here like in you got 24 25 30 50 and 60 but his video that he had captured was 15 frames per second now you don't have 15 frames per second what you can do is i suggest that you um like what i do is i if i capture something on that frame specs anything below 24 frames per second i would actually use a video specific video converter to change the frames per second into that is whatever that is suitable for you and that could uh, that you can use in cyberlink as well so i i'll show you what you, uh, i've got one of those software you can actually um download it it's free and um, it does really do a really good job so i'll just cancel this thing and pull out this 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 is the video color that i'm talking about it's Kigo Video Converter. Um, you guys can find the link in my description if you want to. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so basically, it's pretty easy, straightforward. All you need is just okay. That's the video. You put it in here. Select, and now you've got you've got all these things that you can change. But anyway, what we are after is a uh, video frames per second. So this is what we are after: video frames per second. Uh, if your video is 15 frames per second, you can actually choose what frame rate you need over here, depending based on uh, uh, whatever the software you're using and what you need to do. And um, I think on Power Director, uh, sorry, Power Director 13, it actually the minimum is 24. I've set it up to 24, and all you need to do is just once once you just import it back into the software that you're using, if it's Power Director and or any else, anything else then it will probably match up with uh, the frame rates and you guys can go ahead from there uh, good luck with your purchase guys project sorry project guys and I um, uh, hope you guys have benefited out of my video please do um, like my video please do share it as much, much as possible if you know there might be other people looking for a solution so that might, this might be really helpful and if you guys have any comments or any any questions please leave it in the comment section i will try to get back to you as soon as possible probably with an answer or, or even a video to uh, for an explanation and uh, something like this and thanks again for watching please do sub subscribe to my channel i'll get back to you as soon as possible and um, have a great day